Thank you very much. For the moment, we'll have more from uh, Andrew later. Fracking applications will be fast-tracked under measures which could see decisions taken out of the hands of local authorities. Councils that repeatedly fail to make a ruling within 16 weeks could see the applications taken over by ministers instead. Campaigners against shale gas drilling, though, are accusing the government of riding roughshod over democracy. Earlier I spoke to the Energy Secretary, Amber Rudd. I asked her whether these changes are a direct response to the Lancashire County Council decision to reject a quadrilla fracking application, a process that took over a year. Well, it's certainly a response to what we've experienced over the past year to 18 months, which is that these applications are simply taking too long. And it's not fair to local communities. It's not fair to the applicants. And we need a system, which we have, where applications are really dealt with within the 16-week timetable. I mean, that is already supposed to take place. But what we've experienced is these applications, as you rightly say, taking months and potentially years. And that just doesn't work. Uh, Lancashire County Council says it would be unfair to suggest they didn't go as fast as possible. They say this was the first decision in the UK on fracking and there was a lot of pressure on them to get it exactly right. Uh, that seems like a, a fair comment, doesn't it? And Lancashire County Council may have that view, but I'm talking about the future. Going forward from today, we expect councils to make that decision within 16 weeks. This is a great opportunity for the UK. Homegrown gas it can be delivered safely and securely. We have the planning rules in place to deliver that. And all I'm saying today is that government will take a role if the local planning authorities don't act in a timely fashion. What do you say to those who claim that the government is, and, and we, we gave you the quote there in the introduction, riding roughshod over local democracy, does it place an advantage with the energy firms who perhaps have had more time to hone their arguments compared to local communities? I don't think that's fair. I mean, local authorities still have the planning law to go through. They still have their 16 weeks. There is a very clear process. All we're doing here is saying it's not reasonable for this process to take months, possibly years. Local authorities are still absolutely central to the decision making. There is no change there. But I'm talking about the local communities, not the local authorities, the local communities who may need time to develop their response, their submissions to the council for consideration. Well, local communities have to be guided by their local authority who are elected by, as their local councillors. We do have a democratic system in place and planning law on top of that. You still have to have a public consultation on that. So local authorities and local communities are very much still part of that. Amber Rudd, the Energy Secretary. The two-time winner of the Tour de France, Chris Froome, says he plans to reveal more performance data and prove he's not a drugs cheat. During the race last month, he and his Team Sky teammates faced abuse from spectators and accusations of doping. The British rider told the BBC he has nothing to hide. He was speaking to BBC's sports editor, Dan Rowan.